autocatalytic reaction and recycle reactor. Okay. Yesterday, we have written an equation, very nice uh, condition. So, what is the condition for optimal recycle ratio? For optimal R, what you have to follow is 1 by minus R A at uh, x 1 must be equal to x A 1, x A F, d x A by minus R A whole divided by yeah. So, that is the condition right and uh, actually how do you get this optimal uh, recycle ratio if I ask you to find out okay, for 90 percent conversion you get me the optimal uh, recycle ratio. How do you do it? What is the normal procedure? The normal procedure is the analytical procedure where we have uh, V by F A naught equal to 0 to no not 0 x A 1 x A 1 is R equal to uh, that you remember d x A by minus R A. Okay. So, this minus R A now depending on the Ah, yeah. Right, right, right. Very good. Yeah, like that you have to catch the teachers. Yeah. So, this one, this is the one, and now if I have a scheme autocatalytic reaction, no? autocatalytic reaction A plus R going to R plus R, the rate expression for this is K into C S E R that has to be substituted here. you cannot integrate straight away this. So, then you have to write this R in terms of <coughs> C A. What is the relationship? Generally, the relationship is total concentration C both together C A naught plus C R naught also equal to that is simple material uh, balance. Okay? Yeah. So, now uh, either you take this C naught you have C R equal to C naught minus C A. So, that you substitute here. So, now this you have to optimize that means uh, V by F A naught you have to integrate this one first. So, you have to integrate and that integrated expression you have to take first derivative equal to 0 integrated expression. right? So, that means this you will have some integrated expression. I am not giving there, because I think uh, even though I give more work, I think you are not working at all. I think this is the analytical procedure where you first substitute, it need not be always K C A C R, it may be K C A square C R. Okay? That, that depends on what is the order with respect to A and what, what is the order with respect to R and this also possible that this may be reversible reaction then you will have here minus C R C R C R square. Okay? I mean with respect to each first order if you take good. Yeah. So, that is why uh, the, this is one of the biggest headaches in uh, chemical reaction engineering. You know, I think the moment I change either one or two order you know this is A plus uh, A plus R going to this. right? So, if I say elementary only then it is C A C A and uh, C R in the rate. Otherwise, if I do not know if I say that this may be second order, then it will be C A square. So, then you will have again lot of problems in the integration. right? So, that is why integration, integration, differentiation most of the time in this course you have to do it. right? I think that unsteady state also I think she is the trying. Anyone has done that unsteady state C S T R? No one, no? This is the problem unfortunate. Okay. So, this is what is the analytical procedure is. Then, the moment you have this uh, derivative equal to 0, that equation will be only in terms of R and very good x a f. Okay. So, now for given conversion of may be 90 percent or 80 percent or whatever uh, which I ask or which the problem demands, then you will solve that R and you will not get simple analytical expression, it is mainly trail and error. 
so examination don't again scold me that you know the uh, question paper is too long and all that if if your speed is zero you need infinite time correct no if you are not able to write at all your speed is zero how much time you write infinite time you have to write where is infinite time in iit you cannot wait no you cannot be allowed here to stay uh, infinite time so that's why i think you have to practice quickly good so this is one method now i will go to leon spiel's beautiful method what is the beautiful method graph okay excellent this is really very very nice method so uh, graphically this is very in fact easy easy to do it instead of doing that but you should be loving to draw the graphs right okay yeah so for autocatalytic reaction how do i show the curve one by minus r a versus x a curve like this right good something like this my x a f is here because we fix x a f then only we are trying to find out r okay optimal r we are only talking about optimal r this is x a f okay so now for example without knowing if i say that okay this is my x a 1 what if I, what my condition says the condition says that the rate that is entering at x equal to 1 that is at entry okay x a 1 must be equal to the average rate throughout the reactor okay so here how did you get average rate uh, graphically in uh, recycle reactor earlier i have to give connection no recycle reactor earlier anupriya i think you have solved that problem two areas we have taken and uh, area hit like this sometimes area is loose connections will be connected huh? area the area that is left out is compensated by yeah. yeah so we will take you know average rate will be yeah something approximately or oh, maybe slightly above i have to put yeah so this area when it is equal to this area this is the average rate okay the, that is the average rate for the entire reactor then what is the uh, rate that is entering entering the element entering the plug flow element it should be the average no, no, no. rate only in general i am asking not the condition you have not come to optimal at all okay i am just simply asking what is the rate corresponding to xa1 so where is xa1 here this, this one is xa1 correspondingly this one is the rate that is entering now this if i say i mean as per the yeah so this is point k and this is l and this is this rate p this is oh no no sorry this is p and q both are equal here pq is greater than pq is greater than kl okay so that means recycle is large or recycle is small i mean compared to optimum you have optimum let us say optimum equal to 2 will this be more than 2 or less than 2 you are moving towards plug flow here or for towards mixed flow towards yeah towards mixed flow that means r must be yeah r must be more than optimal value okay so here this is r large so that means this is not optimal we are all discussing about optimal optimality because yesterday class was continuing okay good yeah so this is the one so the other possibility is that we have 1 by minus ra versus xa again same thing okay so you may have somewhere here uh, xaf so i will go somewhere here <coughs> this is xa1 so average rate again i can now get yeah so again here idea is this rate this area this area must be equal to this area this area and this area i see and this area then when i have that then i can have here again average rate okay so this average rate again we call this is p you know average rate average rate is you are trying to find out what is the area of this and what is the area of this so that i will get an average line okay 
but here do not get confused because it is too much it has gone this side because of autocatalytic uh, nature. Right? Okay. So, now this is P q, where is k l for me? X a 1, this is l, where is k? This one. Now, what is the condition? P q is less than k l, k l. That means, what is r value? It will be small. That is uh -oh, r is small, small r. Okay. So, now we will come to the now optimal. Okay. How do you get that optimal? That means, this rate p q also equal to k l. K l is the rate which is entering the plug flow element. Okay. If you have forgotten about that plug flow element, we are talking about okay. this one here. This is x a 1. Corresponding this when it, when it is just entering, what is the rate? That rate is this rate, plug flow element, right? And all this one is overall from here to here. What is happening? Okay. So now our, my optimal ratio will tell me that these these two must be same. Now you can uh, plot the other graph. Again, x a versus one by minus r a. Then you will have like this. X a f is fixed. right so now we will move like this slowly okay this area uh, uh, you know this area equal to this area if i take at this point kl is not equal to kp right uh, so then i will draw this x a1 somewhere here and again take the average line okay so like that when i adjust my areas you will get a condition where both p and q will be same okay pq equal to kl condition you will get so, that will be okay, something like this uh, approximately this area. Yeah. So, where this area equal to what you have to do is you have to calculate you know imagine imagine a small line you have to draw and find out this area and then afterwards move again find out this area afterwards move find out this area and you will have a condition where this area will, will be equal to this area and then this will be the x a 1 and this one this this is yeah this is p q and this one is k l. Those who love graphs they can try this method and those who like equations you will take 2 hours okay? because differentiation and particularly that equation always you will get. Uh, one side logarithmic uh, term, other side you will have normal term. So, then you know to find out by trial and error you have to do assume r equal to something calculate both the terms by trial and error matching or otherwise you can use some other technique uh, you know to find out uh, what is the intersection value. Okay? Yeah. So, good that is nice. So, this is one this is what is the optimal ratio when k l equal to p q we have optimal r. Okay. So, now uh, how do I get optimal r from this uh, graph now? Okay. I, I, I managed this area equal to that area and p q equal to k l that condition is there. So, then how do I get now r? Yeah, excellent x a 1 I, I thought you have forgotten, but you remember this is r by r plus 1 x a f. x a f I know already because I am fixing x a f. Okay. Otherwise, that is not possible. So, uh, easily one can estimate the optimal r. This is very good particularly for biochemical reactions and you know Monod's equation is an autocatalytic reaction, not michaelis martin equation, Monod's equation. Why? Because initially you have uh, and how do you produce uh, by the by alcohol biologically uh, fermentation. What is really happening in fermentation? Yeah, you take the sugar source. Right, and then you grow the microorganisms in that. So, initially you seed like curd only, uh, you add a small amount of previous curd that is the microorganisms you are putting. So, that will multiply, 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 and then it will make it a solid uh, you know, curd. Right, that means you are also taking you know a lot of those microorganisms, you are not separating them again no? from curd. Are you separating? 
no actually you should not separate because those are good for the stomach yeah so that's why i think what they what they call probiotic uh, probiotic okay so antibiotics only we don't uh, like but anyway we have to take most of the time so this is why uh, initially when you put that small amount of curd that means small amount of microorganism it takes some time that's why that 8 hours and all that is required okay it first gets acclimatized to that environment and then once it starts eating food once the environment is good i told you know like human beings once you have good food good house and all that only production of children that's all nothing else no because that is the no because that is the nature of this planet we should, we, don't, we don't have to really uh, take it as a you know, laughing matter really because any life definition of life is propagating in your own species that is one of the definitions of life on this planet otherwise you would have not been here i would have not been here there is no crt class no really i think you know <laughs> if that would have not happened right yeah so that is why i think you know uh, initially the, the, the slowly it will grow and then the rate of reaction in fermentation if you come if you forget about curd and fermentation if you come then what happens initially a small amount of microorganisms are there then it will get accumulated and then it is ready now to produce and afterwards it starts producing more and more now what happens if it is a batch process batch fermentation then you have more and more microorganisms growing and uh, the sugar source the, that uh, total amount of food available is only limited so that is why after some time the population is more there is no food then people start dying exactly same thing our planet also is going to go to only that direction now because we have so many people 7 billion by the time class is over another 2 millions would have been added yeah really <laughs> because throughout the world now so that is why initially when i write the rate of reaction it is the concentration of glucose and concentration of microorganism initially microorganism concentration is small cr okay then after some time cr will be slowly increasing ca will be decreasing so that's why it goes to maximum rate and then again falls okay now on this planet we are in this region you know falling region because more people less food many people are dying so that is why it is a beautiful example for autocatalytic reaction fermentation okay what do you produce from fermentation alcohol, alcohol. what do you do with that <laughs> yeah <laughs> we drink we drink all the time if i tell you you know those at least happy to drink are those who are thinking of drinking you cannot drink at all you know what you drink there it is the waste material of microorganism what do you call that in english shit <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah that is what 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 we drink happily and then do whatever we want <laughs> i think you know if you just imagine that what we saying curd is also yeah <laughs> exactly curd also is same <laughs> yeah you know the microorganisms uh, take the glucose and then they produce the waste product okay that waste product is alcohol like even antibiotics and all that what you produce through microorganisms all of it is only waste product see that waste is so great is say saving lives and all that right but alcohol taking is not good i think that is useless material really useless material don't drink that okay good so that is what is the autocatalytic reaction one of the very good examples for us okay there are many other uh, autocatalytic reactions particularly in uh, organic uh, chemistry reactions so all of them in, they need only this procedure if you want to produce uh, if you want to use a recycled reactor and then if you want to produce very very optimal uh, either design optimal reactor or for a given volume produce maximum xc okay yeah conversion so this is the one good so what else we have now i think we have now to, we have to do a problem uh, very quickly we will do that okay and uh, there are one or two things before doing that problem you have the recycle reactor just forget about uh, auto catalytic reaction you have the normal reaction right you have an equation i also gave the equations for first order second order i am sure you would have not derived and in the examination if i give again you know only thing is you only scold me by scolding me you don't get marks no because i think he is giving very tough question paper and all that you know what you have to do is you have to solve the problems not once many times so what i was telling was if you come to recycle reactor now uh, th th there are three things where for uh, simple orders you can have that uh, equivalence right plug flow i have and that can be replaced by infinite number of 
mixed flow reactors. That is one equivalence. Now, the same plug flow can be replaced by zero recycle okay, or infinite R will be mixed flow. These are the two extremes. But in between any time, if I have three tanks, can I imagine that that is equivalent to a recycle reactor? Yes, definitely. That is what is the beauty in mixing. That is what all the time we are discussing about recycle reactors, where I can control my mixing. One mixing equal to infinity, you know, single CSTR if I have. Then if I have two, I am reducing mixing or increasing mixing. Because sir, two times you are stirring, so mixing is increased. When I take two tanks, two mixed reactors and then put in series, am I decreasing mixing or increasing mixing? Decreasing. I am decreasing mixing. So, three, some more uh, decreased. Four, some more. Infinity, zero mixing. Okay? So, similarly, now I can imagine recycle infinity means perfect mixing. Recycle zero means no mixing, zero mixing. So, in between I have various R's which are now also equivalent to n. Try to find out that and it is very good for me to give a nice simple separate test there. Every time I am blackmailing with tests only. Okay, I may ask for example, okay, two tanks n equal to 2 means equivalent to how much is the recycle ratio or n equal to 3 means how much equivalence in terms of recycle ratio. And when you come to RTD, I hope you will come to RTD. So, uh, at that time, that is also replaced by what is called a dispersion number, because some of you know already that is why I am telling you. Dispersion number 0 means which reactor? PFR. Dispersion number infinity means? So, now any intermediate dispersion number means equivalent to some R, equivalent to some N. So, those are the three equivalences. So, wonderful. You can also always find out what is the dispersion number and what and normally it should be a plug flow reactor. If it is a single CSTR, then I do not have that chance. But I can also imagine, I have 5 tanks in series. Now, I can imagine this is equivalent to some recycle ratio, recycle reactor with some recycle ratio or plug flow reactor with some dispersion number. You see the beautiful connections at that level. All talking and we are not at all unsteady state people here. Only one problem I have given, unsteady state. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Dispersion, how, how can you say that uh, zero dispersion is, no, sorry, some dispersion equivalent to steady, unsteady state. That means, uh, what will you call, yeah, but what will, what will you call uh, mixed flow reactor when I have infinite dispersion? Is it called unsteady state? No. Uh, then, why are you not calling there? Only when you say the PFR with dispersion, how can you say that it is uh, uh, unsteady state? Idealty is different and uh, <coughs> you know what she is asking is different. Unsteady state, steady state is different. It is not ideal PFR, that is all. It is non-ideal PFR with dispersion because our definition of dispersion is, I mean, uh, yeah, reactor is, uh, ideal reactor is dispersion equal to 0. Right, yeah, I think you know, I told you all Indians are brothers and sisters. Only she asked, most of you also may be having the same doubt. Okay. So, when you have this dispersion or when you have some kind of uh, dead space or uh, bypassing, they are not unsteady state. Uh, by the way, what is the difference between unsteady state and uh, steady state? Steady is constant, that is called steady state. Then, uh, is it equilibrium then? No, no, no. no. Uh, then, 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 what is the exact difference between steady state and unsteady state? No grade. Huh? No gradient. No gradient. No at, yeah, at any position when you look, at any position you look, you know that concentration if I, is same, but not gradient 0, there is gradient. Gradient is there, that means you know along the plug flow reactor, I am introducing C A naught and I am getting C A outside, but everywhere inside I have decreasing, decreasing, decreasing till that outlet concentration. But at any point if I look even 100 years, if it is steady state, that concentration is same, at outlet it is same, at inlet it is same, that is what is steady state. And equilibrium is gradient 0, that is thermodynamic equilibrium, like you know, you come and uh, spray uh, some perfume here, right. So, after 5 hours if you come, then the entire room will be smelling uniformly 
same that is what is equilibrium there are no gradients otherwise the moment i spray here only i will get maximum smell next puja may get that's all but gopi will not get gopi gets only after 5 years after how <laughs> if the diffusion is slow slowly it is diffusing and then you know all the gradients uh, died down so finally it occupies uniform concentration throughout this room that is what is equilibrium please remember uh, that is one of the good questions that will be asked in good interviews good interview there are many uh, lousy interviews where they ask how many fathers how many mothers if you say two mothers two fathers two jobs you will get because this is great innovation okay <laughs> yeah so there are many many lousy interviews also i have seen i think uh, we are talking about decent interviews in engineering you will definitely learn a lot okay through interviews also good so that is why please remember this equivalence if i have two tanks how can i replace that by with single r or if i have recycle ratio of 5 how do i replace that with yeah tanks in series equal number of course equal everything this is very good problem you see that is what you know if you had sufficient if, if my zero test was really successful test zero test that means all of you would have answered all these things i have really pushed you okay but now i think we have gone to lkg and then from there we started coming so that is the problem otherwise you know all these wonderful things you will have lots of time to discuss if we had uh, that's why i am taking more classes and all that to cover that loss okay good so that is one of the very good problems you have to please try okay good and also it is by trial and error and all that so please try unless you try in your room you can never solve that in the examination hall good now take this problem we will solve a problem first we will define the problem i think afterwards we will see tomorrow we will solve the problem yeah problem we explore various reactor setups for converting a into r to stop the feed contains 99% a 1% r and the desired product is to consist of 10% a and 90% r full stop the transformation takes place by means of an elementary reaction a plus r going to r plus r with rate constant k equal to 1 liter per mole per minute is that a catalytic reaction no very good is the elementary so we know the exact one yeah so the concentration of active materials is ca not plus cr not equal to ca plus cr equal to c not equal to 1 mole per liter yeah liter only yeah yeah throughout you can also write there throughout that means throughout the reactor this material balance is valid okay next one what reactor holding time will yield will yield a product in which cr equal to in which cr equal to 0.9 moles per liter <coughs> okay what reactor holding time that means tau you have to calculate right what reactor holding time will yield a product in which cr equal to 0.9 mole per liter what is the conversion 90% okay because it is one we have to now find out what is tau for a pfr okay pfr and b mfr that means one one reactor and c minimum size setup without without recycle minimum size please see the word uh, minimum size setup so it's not one reactor it can be two reactors also minimum size setup with without yeah without recycle without r without recycle okay next one is d please take this if a separator is used to separate 90% r and 10% a from the reactor what is the minimum reactor space time or uh, holding time what is the minimum reactor space time so i think you understood that no d d what i am asking is this this is 90% this is 10% okay that is separator only you have to find out reactor volume now separator is anyway we are not asking 
the other one is two reactors you know till maximum rate and then uh, pfr these are of course individual rates i think all these tau's right this is a very nice problem i think now we don't have time and let me see how many of you will come tomorrow with this solution?